across the Mississippi state line, you know it's been going really slow with construction along westbound out 10. But there could be some good news as crews say they're ahead of schedule. The area has seen wrecks and backups since the work began. And making matters worse, the alternate route on US 90 has been closed for more than a year. Lily Cummings joining us now with the impacts of the Pearl River Bridge closure. Lily. Sharice, the bridge closure combined with that construction on I-10 impacts a lot of people, folks driving home from the beach and those who live in Mississippi and commute to work. But one town in particular has been hit hard. What up, man? At the Purlington Rocket Express. It's a nice, pretty view. Michael Acker has seen it all. We have a lot of people come through asking for directions, how to go around the traffic. When the US 90 Pearl River Bridge was closed in spring of 2022, Purlington became a dead end. A lot of people from different states coming through, turning around because the bridge closed out. The Louisiana Department of Transportation says four of the bridges that cross the West Pearl are deteriorating. Meanwhile, the East Pearl Bridge is beyond its expected service life and will require replacement or face closure, just like the Rocket Express. We lost so far almost half of our business. The owner says if the bridge isn't fixed soon, he can't stay open. I don't think so. We are already in serious debt. Timothy White lives in Purlington, but travels to Slidell for work. It takes three hours just to get to work. You know, uh, my wife's a bartender. She has to leave at least two hours early to get to work. That's because while the bridge is closed, traffic is diverted to I-10. Yeah, we're screwed if our hurricane comes. Right now, the Mississippi Department of Transportation is making a repair on I-10 caused by an accident earlier this year, clogging up the drive into Louisiana. It's one fender bender and it's backed up for miles again, so it doesn't take a lot. MDOT anticipates the interstate work will be done next week, but the US-90 bridge doesn't have a timeline. We are just trying to to stay in business for the community of Pellington. Not that we are really making a lot of uh, profits. Leaving yeah, Purlington I mean, residents to watch. From Louisiana, Mississippi, need to come together and figure it out. And wait. Well, the Louisiana Department of Transportation says plans are being developed and efforts are underway to secure the estimated $250 million to replace all five bridges. However, that exceeds the state's yearly budget for bridges. DOTD said it's also facing an $18.8 billion backlog for projects across the state that carry more traffic. All right.